Prime Minister Lee and Mrs. Lee, ESM Go and Mrs. Go, Deputy Prime Ministers, Cabinet Ministers, my many old friends of the media, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for being here tonight. I began on this project about a year and a half ago, and I must admit that I started with more than a bit of trepidation. For too long, since ESM Go stepped down as PM in 2004, many Singaporeans have been wondering when he would write his memoir. We all waited. One year became five, and eventually today, 14 years. So I knew there were high expectations for this book. We all wanted to know what were his thoughts about global leaders, international affairs, and of course, local politics. With that in mind, I prepared the questions for our first interview with ESM Go in July last year most carefully. Let me share some of the questions with you. One, why is your name Go Chok Tong? <coughs> Two, when you were young, what did you eat at home? Three, given your height, why didn't you play basketball in school? And four, this is my favorite, was your wife your first girlfriend? Five, how did you propose to her? Now, so there I was, standing outside ESM's office in the Istana, waiting to start our first interview, and then I was looking at these questions and becoming even more anxious. Here's the second Prime Minister of Singapore, and I had a bunch of silly personal questions for him. Then, something happened. I heard a melody. Someone was whistling in the office. The tune, I still remember, was Bangawan Solo. And I figured that the whistler must be ESM. Now, I don't know about all of you here today, but in my life, you only whistle for two reasons. One, when you're at the toilet, and two, when you feel relaxed and happy. So ESM was certainly relaxed about our interview, and that helped me to feel less nervous too. And indeed, indeed, he was uh, most patient with my questions, and he even praised me for asking them because he said the question forced him to look back and recall things like what he ate as a child. The answer, by the way, is tau ge, tau kwa, tau pok, kang kong. Not the most exciting dishes. So thank you, ESM, for your patience and for sharing your life story with me and my team at the Nutgraph. We are most honored to be able to tell your story and play our role in telling the Singapore story. I would also like to take a minute to thank a few people here today who made this book possible. To my publisher, World Scientific, especially Max and Hong Kun. I've always wanted to work with a publisher who can bring my books global, and I'm very happy to have finally found one. As we speak, Tall Order is available in the US, UK, Australia, Japan, India, Thailand, Malaysia, and Indonesia. And if you do not want a hard copy of this book, you can download it right now ebook on Google Play, Amazon Kindle, Kobo, and Apple iTunes. Special mention must also go to ESM's press sec, Heng Ik Yao, and special assistant Bernard To, who helped me tremendously, especially in reaching out to the many interviewees, many of whom are here today, especially PM Lee. Thank you for giving me time. I'm also very happy to have my old boss, Han Fook Kwang, as an editorial advisor to me and my team on this book. We benefited tremendously from his institutional knowledge of Singapore politics. And if you like the title, the credit is not mine. The idea came from Marine Parade grassroots leader, Kok Pak Chow, who is right over there. Actually, it came from his wife, but he said, it's okay, just give me the credit. And so <laughs> I'm doing that. This title, Tor Order, is obviously a play on ESM's height in addition to the difficulty in which he rose to become Prime Minister. But it can also be a description of my task in writing this long-awaited book. There's probably no one happier than me tonight because I have put off a tall order. ESM will not be signing autographs tonight, or although maybe, maybe if you ask kindly. He will do it later this month during the charity launch. But if you don't mind, I will do it, and it's free. <laughs> 
just won't be able to return the book after that. <laughs> after waiting for so many years, I hope Tall Order will not disappoint you. Thank you very much, everyone. <laughs>